Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be learning about new result on automorphism. Here, the result states that we have the set of automorphisms of some group, right? Then that set, remember, we denoted by AUT of G, right? And we also have a set of inner automorphisms of a group. We denote it by IWN of G, right? These two sets under the operation of composition they form a group right so this is what is the result and this is what we have to prove here in this uh, video so we will be proving about the automorphism of g being a group in a similar manner you can also prove that inner automorphisms form a group in fact when we'll be studying about normal subgroups then it will be more easy for you to prove that this inner uh, automorphic group is basically a normal subgroup of a given group why because it has the same form as uh, this phi a of x so this is a x a inverse so this form is nothing but the of normal subgroup we'll start we'll be studying about normal subgroup in the upcoming videos as for now let's focus on to uh, this automorphic group g and let's prove that this group is but nothing but it is a uh, th this set is nothing but a group under the operation of composition so here we assume that this automorphic group it represents the set of all automorphisms on g now taking the operation of function composition with us we will prove that this forms a group right for that what we need to prove we need to prove the closure property the associative property the identity and the inverse so let's move ahead and prove these things so first of all in order to prove closure property what do we do we take two um, functions say f and g both are automorphisms they are taken from this group automorphism this set of automorphisms of the group G so that means F is a mapping from G to G and G is also a mapping from G to G such that both of them they are isomorphism so that means both of them they are 1 1 on 2 and operation preserving now what we need to prove we need to prove that their composition is also an auto uh, an isomorphism in fact an automorphism so it is also defined from G to G so you can clearly see that when we have function defined from g to g and this function g is defined from capital g to g so g o f is also defined from g to g correct there is no issue now we need to prove that this g o f is uh, isomorphism so that means we need to prove that it is one to one it is on to and it is operation preserving so let's move forward now we know because both of the functions f and g they are isomorphism so therefore both of them they are one one and both of them they are on to so therefore their composition is also one to one and on to we know this by the properties of the composition of functions correct now once we have one run and on to property the next thing we that we are uh, want, uh, that is left to prove is uh, this operation preserving property of this composition function which is g o f so what is this this g o f of a b this is equal to g of f of a b right so that means g of what is f of a b uh, this uh, because f is given to be an isomorphism so it is operation preserving so f of a b is f of a f of b so we are expanding this thing as f of a f of b now we can uh, compose g with this f also and with this f also so we have g of f of a and g of f of b so th what is this thing this this now becomes g o f and this also now becomes g o f so therefore we started with this thing g o f of a b we have have gof of a and gof of b so that means this gof also follows the operation preserving property right if that is so in that case we may uh, say that this gof uh, is a member of the group of automorphisms of g and hence the closure property is satisfied next we wanted to prove the associative property in order to prove that we wanted to if we take three functions f g and h from the set of automorphisms of the group g right then we wanted to prove that h composition with g composition with f that is equal to the composition of g and f first and then with h right so let's suppose 
uh, A is some element of the group G. In that case, uh, let's take the left hand side first. Let's take edge composition with G first and then composition with F and we apply this function, this composition function onto the element A of the group G. Right, so first of all we'll solve this part so it would give us F of A and then we solve this part so it will give us H of G of F of A. Right, so now in X what we can do, we can club these two functions together so we would have H as such G of F of A, uh, G of F of A right and uh, next we can club this h also so that we have h composition with g composition with f uh, of a so that means this thing here is uh, e this thing here is equal to this thing over here and hence we have the associativity with us under this operation next we wanted to prove the identity first of all what should be the identity here in automorphism so in automorph uh, in the set of automorphisms of g it contains all the functions and for functions we know what is the identity it is the identity operator so identity operator obviously take all the elements from the group g to the group g only so it do nothing to it right so for example a belongs to g then what is i of a it is a only so again this belongs to g so therefore this is an automorphism again you know this i this is one to one this is on to and moreover it is also operation preserving you may see that there is because here in this case i of a b would just be a b and what would be i of a i of b it would again be i of a is a i of b is b so both the results they are same so therefore we also have operation preserving property so therefore this i is uh, uh, an automorphism so uh, being an automorphism it is a member of this a set of automorphisms of G so therefore we have an identity for this set right next for inverses we assume that f is some function which is taken from the group of automorphisms of the set of automorphisms of G right we assume that its inverse is f inverse if f inverse is the inverse of the function f that means f inverse composition with f is definitely the identity which is the identity operator which is further equal to the function composed with the inverse of that particular function now what is left behind is we wanted to prove that this f inverse also belongs to our set of automorphisms of g for that we need to prove that this f inverse is a group automorphism so how we may do that for that what we do we assume that this f is a group automorphism which which is obvious and we take two elements a and b from the group g then according to definition there would exist unique x and y in g such that when we apply f on to x we have the answer as a right and uh, when we apply f on to y it is equal to b because f is again a function from g to g we are taking a and b here in this group so that means we are saying for this a and b we have unique x and y here because of the on to property such that when we apply f of x here we have a and when we apply f of y here we have b so using uh, stating this thing here let's calculate what is f inverse of a b so f inverse of a b would be we can substitute the value of a here as f of x right and we can substitute the value of b here as f of y right so next what we can do we can apply the pr operation pro preserving property for f because f is an automorphism so therefore we have f of x y so you see this f inverse and f together they form the identity operator right this is nothing but f inverse composition with f so which is the identity operator so we have x of y here similarly for th uh, this thing we have the answer as x of y what would be the answer for f inverse a f inverse b let's have a look again we can substitute the value of a as f of x and the value of b as f of y right after doing that you see this thing f 
inverse composition with f this forms the identity operator so we have identity of x and this thing also forms the identity operator so we have identity of y identity of x is nothing but x identity operator applied on to y is nothing but y so we have this as the answer x y so you see here also the answer is x y here also the answer is x y so that means both of them they are equal to each other so we have this expression as equal to each other so this shows that f inverse has the operation preserving property right if this has the operation preserving property and moreover it is one to one and on to because f is also one to one and on to and we know the inverse of any function is both one one and on to because in that case only we can calculate this inverse whenever this function f is bijective so therefore this f inverse because it is one to one it is on to and it has the operation preserving property it is an isomorphism and uh, uh, and it uh, maps the same group to the same group so therefore it forms the group automorphism so therefore we have all the four properties satisfied here in this case for automorphism of uh, the set of automorphisms of the group G so therefore this set under the operation of function composition forms a group so I hope you understood this uh, proof well well that is it for this video thank you for watching